So, for now, let's move on. Let's move on to Fox News. A series of Cialis and catheter commercials occasionally interrupted by an episode of The Five. <laughs> Fox News has been rocked by sexual harassment scandals recently, and this week brought one of the most damaging yet. This morning, new revelations about sexual harassment claims at Fox News aimed at the network's biggest star. The New York Times finding Fox News and Bill O'Reilly paid five women a total of almost $13 million in settlements, going back 15 years. Yes, Bill O'Reilly, who scientists hypothesize is kind of a dense nebula of boner and racism. <laughs> Uh, has been paying out settlements for alleged harassment for years, and the details are pretty disturbing here, with the victims claiming things like verbal abuse, uh, lewd comments, unwanted advances, and phone calls in which it sounded as if Mr O'Reilly was masturbating. <laughs> and I hate to ask this, but what does that sound like? <laughs> does it sound like a dog's jowls flapping when it sticks its head out of the window of a moving car? Or someone frantically stirring a bowl of cake batter? Or or was it a more subtle tap, 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 like a mouse giving a round of applause? <laughs> I mean, either way, it is horrible. And look, it's not just those five women. Dr Wendy Walsh, an occasional guest on O'Reilly's show, came forward this week claiming that he took her to dinner, ostensibly to offer her career advice, but when she declined to come back to his room, his tone noticeably changed. He told me, he complained about the iodor soda water, and he complained about the cost of the soda water, and said, I wonder what they're charging for a cup of water here. He told me my bag was ugly. He goes, that's the ugliest bag I've ever seen. OK, OK. <laughs> Hold on. She is saying when he got rejected, he started negging her by complaining about the price of seltzer and then criticising her fashion choices. Apparently, in Bill O'Reilly's mind, every woman wants to fuck her own mother. <laughs> now, now, it is... <laughs> It is hard for us, any of us, to imagine what it must be like to be on the receiving end of dirty talk from Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> but it's not, as it turns out, impossible. Because in 1998, he wrote a book called Those Who Trespass, featuring numerous sex scenes, and he narrated his own audiobook. And yes, we're doing this! <laughs> Here is a sample. I would like you to unhook your bra and let it slide down your arms. You can keep your shirt on. Cup your hands under your breasts and hold them for 10 seconds. He slipped the hose down over ankles, all the while continuing to knead her skin with his tongue. Ashley climaxed twice before the two got up from the couch. Hot. <laughs> that, that is a man describing a woman's orgasm who has clearly never seen a woman's orgasm. <laughs> and just on a technical note, you can't knead skin with your tongue, Bill. <laughs> You've confused making love with making a rustic sourdough bread. <laughs> but wait, wait, because we haven't even got to the most stomach-churning part yet. He had accomplished his goal, giving Ashley Van Buren a night she would long remember. His physical pleasure was secondary. His primary euphoria came from knowing that Ashley was enjoying every bit of his expertise. I am willing to bet that there has never been a fictional character more happy to not actually exist than Ashley Van Buren. <laughs> <laughs>